Everyone, welcome to Exalt Ministries. Today, my name is Wyatt, and today we're going to look at Press On by Building 429. I've been practicing this song for the last few days now. I'm trying to get all the rhythms down, um, some of the chord changes, some of the strumming patterns and everything. Um, I've gotten to a pretty good spot where I'm comfortable playing it, even a little bit without the sheet now. My version might sound a little different than the official one. Um, it's one I've kind of customized to be both chord friendly as well as a little bit of solo friendly as well. Um, to start off with this, we're going to be doing this song in the key of C. Um, accomplishing that, we're going to be doing capo 5 using G chords. Um, so to start off first real quick, we're going to need to know what chords we'll be using. We'll be using a C, we'll be using a um, G over B, we'll be using a D over A, as well as just a standard G chord. Um, and also along with an A minor and an E minor. So real quick, before we get started um, actually putting the song together, let's look at the chords we have here, find out how they're made, and then we'll get to the rest of the song. Alrighty, so let's look at the chords of the song. Um, remember, we're doing this capo 5, so I have my fifth dot right there. Alright, in this song we're going to be doing using a standard C, standard G, as well as a G over B. That's the difference. A D over A, um, an A minor, and an E minor, and I believe that's the chords for this song. So let's start off with the C. It's a standard C. So we have a um, mute three two open one three. It's your standard C. Uh, we're going to the G, standard G chord, which is going to be a three two open 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 three. G over B, which is a mute two open 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 three. Okay, uh, let's look at a D over A, and to do that, we're just going to turn this around. Now, remember the normal D will fret the two top two strings, but this one will only fret in the top string that gives us the open A note. Okay, which is going to be a mute open open two three two. That's your D over A, and then we're going to look at an A minor which is a mute open 2 2 1 open and then standard E minor which is a open 2 2 open 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 now I know I went through those really fast um that's okay you can pause the video um and do however you want so you have the uh, like the chord up here showing that way you can practice it get into your muscle memory so once again we have C G G over B, D over A, A minor, E minor. Okay, and that's the gist of this song. So um, if you already know all those chords and this is just a review for you, that's fine. Let's get to the rest of the song and we'll see how it's all put together. Okay, so now that we have everything in muscle memory, let's start off with the intro. Um, I also have um, several different strum patterns um, posted in the description below. The first one we're going to be looking at is the intro pattern. Now, the intro pattern for this song is going to be a little different because on some of our up strums, we're actually going to do down strums, um, which sounds a little odd because usually on our numbers, they're all down strums and then the plus is all up strums. Instead of what we're going to be doing, like say if I was going to be doing one and two and, but on the second and I want to do a down strum, it sounds something like this, one and two and, so one and two and, one, so one and two and, and then we had a one against them. That's what it sounds like, one and two and, let's see if I can do this right. I keep thinking the and, I go up, one, go one and two and, one and two and, one and two and. So that's what I'm talking about with putting a downstrom as in the end instead of a standard up strum. Um, the pattern we're going to be looking at is going to be posted right up here. Um, it looks kind of odd. What I've done is on the and strums that you need to down strum on it, I just put a different symbol instead of a plus sign. I haven't chosen yet at the time of this video, but I'm sure I'll figure out something. Um, so what we're going to be looking at here, and we're going to start off on the C because that's how our intro is. Our intro is going to go C G over B, the D over A, let me get this in a better picture here. So you have C, standard C, to G over B, 
to a D over A, and if you're really, why this is called D over A, it's simple. We have a D, and the A note is going to be our lowest note played, so instead of muting two strings, we're only going to mute one. That'll give us the dominant A note, being here or there. Okay? And then, of course, back to a standard G. So when we get it done, it's going to sound like this real quick. So if I get this right. That's what the intro is going to sound like. Sounds a little similar and a little different at the same time. What I'm doing here is on the up strum, I'm only hitting like the, about the first one or two strings. So we down and then up, just that, just that one. So yeah. all right. So doing the pattern, we have one, then that and. Two, three, and then we have two and three and four and one. It might take a little time to get used to doing this, but it's gonna sound like this. See if I that's basically the gist of it. So it's like so see so see if I can get this right. Sometimes this world starts breaking me down. I get so lost I think I'll never be found And there are moments of fear and doubt Even the best fall to the ground Alright, I'm going to leave you with that. I don't know why it's been so hard for me to explain this, but I have it up here for you so that way you can practice it. Get used to doing, like I guess you call it a double down strum instead of a down up, you do a double down. Um, but then anyways, that's going to be our first verse, so it's going to go from the C. Sometimes this world, G over B. World starts breaking, is a D over A. Breaking me, and then down is G. So Sometimes this world starts breaking me down. Repeat. I get so lost, I think I'll never be found. Repeat again. And there are moments of fear and doubt to a D. Even the best fall to the ground. C. Alright. So once again, it's going to sound like this. Sometimes this world starts breaking me down. I get so lost, I think I'll never be found. And there are moments of fear and doubt. Even the best fall to the ground. I am a mess. Okay, so after that, we go to a G for the chorus. G. I am a mess, I am a A minor wrecking ball. Okay, so we go. I am a mess, I am a wrecking ball. So we go from that G, we can use the same strum pattern too. So it just, it's just a little louder, you just kind of put a little more oomph into it. But I am, so I am a mess, I am a wrecking ball. And then E minor. I must confess to a C that I still don't get it all. And then we're just gonna repeat that again. G, Lord, I believe all your words. A minor, words are true. Doesn't, E minor, matter where I'm going if I'm C, going with you. And then we're gonna go G, I press on. A minor, I press on. E minor, I press on. C. When I still don't get it. Okay? So let's try to go through the uh, first verse um, and then the chorus. And then the second verse is exactly the same as the first one. The only difference is there's going to be a repeat chord of the last line where they do like the even the best fall to the ground. And the next one's going to be like even the strong fall to their knees. Only God knows what we all need. It's just doubled up. So we're going to go from verse 1. Chorus, verse 2, repeat the chorus, and then we're going to go to the bridge and show you how that's done. And we're going to use the same strumming pattern through the whole thing, okay? So. Sometimes this world starts breaking me down. I get so lost, I think I'll never be found. And there are moments of fear and doubt, even the best fall to the ground. I am a mess, I am a wreck.
feet, even the strong fall to their knees. God only knows what we all need. I am a mess, I am a wrecking ball. I must confess that I still don't get it all. And I always screw up with this part. Lord, I believe all your words are true. When we get to the bridge, we can keep with the same tone, the same speed and everything, the same strum pattern and go right into the bridge. Or if you want, you can slow it down, slow down the, um, the octave, so to speak, and lower it. It's all up to you. Do what you wish. I have also done the chorus, do it on the low tone, um, and it sounds quite a bit different. It's all how you want to do the song. If the vocal, my vocals are not going to be up to par for this song, I'm just doing the best that I can right now. Um, so going into the bridge, um, it's, set, it's called the tag in the chord sheet. Go on the bridge, we're going to start on the G. So it goes, life goes on, life goes on. The second life goes on, or the second repeat of the first part of each line is actually more like for a duet. So if you want, you can either sing it double, or you can just omit it, and just do like, for the first part it says, life, life goes on. And then A minor, but your love will prove E minor. All I need, C. I will find in you. Life goes on, but your love will prove all I need. I will find in you, and then you repeat that. Now, if you want to do the double, it will sound like this. Life goes on, life goes on, but your love will prove all I need, all I need. I will find in you Life goes on, life goes on But your love will prove All I need, all I need I will find in you And then to end it you say I press on with a G I press on And then you can go right back into the chorus Now I'm going to go through the chorus Come into the um, bridge Back in the chorus And then back into the bridge And then um, I will finish on the bridge instead of the chorus like how it's usually done. So going to the chorus, gonna be doing I am let's go. I am a mess, I am a wrecking ball. I must confess that I still don't get it all. Lord, I believe all your words are true. Doesn't matter where I'm going, if I'm going with you, I press on. All I need, I will find in you. Life goes on, but your love will prove all I need. I will find in you, I press on. And then you can repeat the I press on. You can repeat the chords after that, like you're doing the normal bridge. I press on, I press on. it you can do it however you want um i do have posted the intro strum pattern as well as a rhythm strum pattern that you can play if you have a rhythm guitarist as well as an alternate strum pattern if you have another guitarist um so like if i was going to do this as a rhythm um guitarist for say the chorus um i would use the rhythm um which is rhythm um strum which is in the description below and that is a one and two and three and four and one and two and and four and. So it's almost a completely repetitive, but that last difference where I take out literally one down strum makes a whole difference in it. So I have like this one and two and three and four and one and two and and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and and four. I am a mess, I am a wrecking ball. I must confess that
on the last part, I was actually switching between the rhythm and the alternate, which all the alternate is is the last part of the rhythm pattern, and switching that for the I press on because they're shorter. So I use a short, I use the shorter pattern of the alternate. So I did switch between the two. However, you can make it, you can alternate the patterns, do it however you want. The great part about this song is completely customizable to how you want to do it to your octave. You can change the key if you want to and everything else. Um, you can do it in the standard key of C and do the different chords. This is actually how they do it on the video even. He's got the capo 5 playing G. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. My name is White. You guys have a blessed day.